Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today's video is going to be an unboxing. I have a couple of things I've treated myself with the past couple of days and actually one is from Mystic's Little Gifts. It's been a while since I have purchased from her but I fell in love with one of the new items that she has in her shop and I felt like I really needed to get one and also I have something really exciting in here. This is going to be an unboxing that leads to another unboxing in a future video depending on how you guys um, like it. So I will do a poll at the end and I would like for you guys to comment to see if you actually want a, another unboxing for this particular item that's in here. Okay, so Mystic's Little Gifts usually has a wait time for her products as she hand cuts them and hand stitches them and everything like that. She is a one woman show for the most part. And so when I initially ordered this a couple weeks ago, um, actually, I think I ordered this on my birthday and it arrived today, which is the 30th. It took pretty much exactly three weeks to get here and she always has updates on Instagram and online uh, on her shop as to what time frames and what days of the week that she's working on orders that you purchased on those days so this is what I got and this is her business card and this is the reason why I have these out oh that's cute she has a little cute sticker okay so this is the ostrich embossed leather and it's pretty and it looked really enticing online I don't have any type of leather like this and I was interested I like texture and I like brown of course and so I decided to go with the stitching of black and I picked a front cover or a front pocket and then I picked a black elastic so this is actually an a6 folio is pretty floppy not overly floppy but it, it's floppy um, I say overly floppy because if you know of the Sojourner Solomon that one is super floppy and it has a little bit of like thickness to it when you get it as a folio and it this one's a little bit more firm on the edges you can tell it kind of has a little bit of structure just a tad just a tad okay so I'm back don't judge me I know I have a lot of covers and I talked about using my cheek sparrow and I still love this and I do have the blue one the Mockingjay um, but and then I jumped on the Galen leather and got that in the yellow because I really wanted some yellow leather and it was I had a coupon code so that's why I got this now there's one thing about this is that it has it's very stiff and it's getting a little bit looser but it's more of one of those notebooks in my personal opinion that you can keep on your desk because it's sturdy and it can stand up this you know straight but for me I kind of want something that is more like I guess texture but something kind of thin that I can just kind of take with me just about anywhere so I wanted to see how it would work in here I also have found myself getting behind in my Hobonichi Techo and it is something that oh, come on. why why won't it fit okay it freaks me out for a second 
so I figured out what I needed to do. You know I like to have my notebook in both covers like this. So I know that she says that she uh, none of her products are absolutely perfect, which is the same with a lot of many leather products because of the leather. But she also hand cuts and then stitches around. And so sometimes uh, it could be the sizing could be a little wonky. And I've discovered that with this one, it was it couldn't go in at first because of the glue. So I kind of pulled it back, and now everything goes in perfectly fine and so if you guys ever seem to run into that problem with some traveler's notebooks or even um, folios from her shop or any shop I would consider trying to stretch out the part close to the edge so I was able to fit in there now this leather it's so interesting it's not squishy in my opinion it's very it's very thin um, unless you have pockets. So you can see here, this is technically called like a pocket in a sense. And I have a pocket here and then I have this extra pocket here and it still feels pretty thin. But I love this color. It's, and I love the dots. It almost looks like it's super speckled, but I don't know, there's something about it. I really like it. I want to, I'm gonna put my, Hobonichi Techo in here and see if it sparks some more interest and keeps me motivated to use it as I've been not as motivated before. So I'm excited. I like how you could just easily open it up. It's not stiff enough to where it's hard to open and the book can shift back and forth really simply. The only thing about this is that the string is actually pretty loose. And I don't know if that's just me or the fact that I was using the Galen leather and this strap is like super tough. It's like, Argh. so this one's really loose. I'm gonna have to, I think what I'm going to do is tie it down just a little bit further to keep it. So this was her first knot. I'm gonna go a little bit further down. And still, still pretty stretchy. I may change this out to something else, but I do like it. And I don't see how this is gonna be very useful, but I do like how it blends in. It's kind of hard to tell that there's a pocket there until you lift it up. So I kind of like that feature. I mean, you can stick little notes in here and there. Maybe I could stick in some of my stickers. But other than that, yeah, I really like it. There's room back here. Obviously with the Homiji Tetro, over time it will get thicker. And so it will start to look like that. This was my Hobonichi from last year. And I really like my covers. I cannot find myself getting rid of these three covers at all. This one may just be another one of those. And I think I might just have to trim it just a little bit. You can see like the edges of the leather. Um, it's a little frayed out. I mean, it's not going to come into the leather and start pulling, but it's one of those I probably just will trim down a little bit. Other than that, this is my Mystic's Little Gifts cover. And then on to this one. This is from Foxy Fix, and I am going to be trying something different. Okay, it has been a while since I've ordered from Foxy Fix. This is what I got. So, ooh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the Barina Fossy Fix sample. I like that. What if, is that weird if I put these together? I like the feel of that. I had a Rowena in a Traveler's Notebook and I got rid of it. Well, I sold it. 
So you can see here, this may look a bit interesting. This is the innards of a ring notebook, for an, a ring notebook. And you may be wondering, what are you doing with the innards for a ring notebook? Well, I bought a ring notebook. And that's just because I am going crazy. And I have been obsessing over rings a lot lately. Maybe because I've just never had a ring planner and notebook before that it's just, it's caught up with me. So I got the blank Foxy Fix innards for a personal wide and then the personal wide dashboards for Foxy Fix. And I actually ended up getting a personal ring because I didn't want I heard that you can use the personal wide inserts for a personal ring. Um, it's just everything will go to the edge. I just didn't want that extra space in a wide. Actually, you know what? I don't know what I want. I just want to try it. We'll see when that one gets here. And it's actually also by Mystic's Little Gifts. And then um, I also have an A6 coming. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested to see what that unboxing will reveal if you want to see an unboxing of those two planners and I can do that for you and then I did plan on doing a setup for it and showing you how I'm going to use it I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be using it for every day planning I was thinking about using it for just a work planner for like my Etsy shop and these inserts, I was going to use them for my stickers and to kind of control or organize how I'm releasing stickers and my personal stickers that I use instead of putting them into a pouch that is just so disorganized. I was thinking about using a bunch of these to kind of keep them organized in a ring planner. So. I realized I need to get a few more. I have the ring planner coming. Well, it hasn't shipped yet, but it's coming. And I think I might get a few more of, maybe just one more set of these, and then some more of these, because I only got three, and I think I'm gonna need probably a million of them, considering how many stickers I have. But, let's see. So my stickers are pretty small, except for the large. Okay, so these are my stickers, and this is what I'm going to do, for example. I, being a sticker owner, a sticker shop owner, I do get a lot of misfits, or some that I think won't be easily used. So. I want I usually take those and use them in planners and show you how you can use them in your planners and these are just an example of what I have this is probably one of my biggest sheets I have and you can see it's like a personal more like an 8 6 size so I hope these will fit they may be a little bit too wide yeah, they're a little too wide. So, seems like I may need to get another planner. <laughs> no, but at least the small ones will fit. And in most cases, I make a lot of smaller stickers for those who like to work in smaller planners, like A6s and like your the Hobonichi Weeks. So this is actually my newest sticker set. And this one um, is all about the introverted olive and about me I guess you could say I am a pretty introverted person and so anyway these will be up in my shop but this is ideally how I want to use them I probably don't really use more than a couple in here at a 
time. And I think I'm also gonna buy some personal dashboards that aren't wide because then I, it would still fit in here. They don't all have to be the same size. Plus, the personals are actually cheaper than the personal wide, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I like this idea. I know some sticker shops, um, a lot of people buy those sticker books, which are kind of like picture books, I guess, uh, back in the day when people had like a bunch of pictures and it was like a flip book. And I haven't seen many people actually use a, like an, a ring to hold all their stickers in. Maybe because there's just so many stickers. But I don't think I'm at that point yet. And so I think I should be able to at least put in my most common and most popular stickers in here. I just have to get probably like 10 more of these. Hopefully they'll fit. Okay, so that is my plan. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or any thoughts, any ideas, please list them down in the comments below. And if you want to see an unboxing of the Rings planner when I get it, please let me know down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!